Careful. Care don't want paper cuts. Yes, be very careful. Ah, uh, yep. Perfect. When the parents came home from church, mm -hmm. all their children were gone. <gasps> what? Not the all of their children. For them, Did they really? They cried and begged. Uh huh. It was all to no avail. Why not? The children have never been oh. seen. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to be reading that? No, he he read no, it for he, you. He read it. That was an awful poem. Nothing rhymed. Yeah, po poetry doesn't need need to rhyme, Jay. Yeah, it does, Chris. No, Come no. on, you took English classes. They no, have to rhyme. I, no, they have to rhyme. This isn't... That's how it works. Uh, God. No, I'm having the aneurysm. D no, they all have to be like limericks. <laughs> <laughs> there once was a man from the city. You know what? He killed all the kids. What a pity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you phrase it like that, maybe there's some substance to this conversation. <laughs> Is there anything else in there? Hmm. Ooh. Although it's weird that he goes with origami, but not haikus. Well, I mean, yeah. You only have one or the other. They're mutually you exclusive. You can't, you can't fully uh, I have to get appropriate out that culture. <laughs> no. You should see if you can juggle apples real fast. No, oh, that'll light. That'll lighten things. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like really kind of like dark and dreary in here. <laughs> He's just like, if I drop these, I'm definitely the origami killer. But if I don't drop these, then I'm innocent. Oops, I dropped them. Oh no, it must be me. I must be the origami killer. It's my neighbor's apartment. No, <laughs> no, it's just your other back door. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there. I don't even know origami. Or how to kill things. I would love it if he had like multiple personalities and one of them is just really good at origami. <laughs> and the other is really good at killing. Oh, he's got like three of them. Uh huh. No, he only has two. <laughs> he's the killer. The other one just does origami. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, now go to your neighbor's house. This looks awesome awfully suspicious like you're escaping it looks big time suspicious hey neighbor do you can i borrow a cup of sugar can i borrow do you have like little papers that yeah. i can turn into like origami cranes can, I, know, can, I, can I borrow like a cup and a half of uh powdered sugar <laughs> also uh do you know where the nearest wasteland is by any chance just asking for a friend have, and the neighbor's like have you seen your backyard <laughs> <laughs> too close to home did him the Dude. cops like search his backyard. There's about 15 dead kids in it. <laughs> There's all this paparazzi shit, outside shit, of spotted me. <laughs> They're just watching you. <laughs> it's like, so funny. Is that is that the guy? I think that's the guy. Let's stand here for a while longer and see. Isn't that his car? Oh, he's driving off. If we form a human barricade around his car, no, no one's into that idea. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, was that the guy we were supposed to go watch? <laughs> yes, Kermit the Frog. That is the guy we're supposed to go. Watch. Pardon me. Are you judging my voice? <laughs> CJ, the killer's leaving clues. I'm not sure I understand <laughs> what he's trying to say. <laughs> Kermit the Jake. Oh, it's blackout time. Oh, we're going to get to a murder and it's time for another Origami Killers presents. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan just waggling around his arm. Jason. <laughs> oh, Jason. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, Jake, the thing here is that he's afraid of crowds now because he lost the Jason in a crowd once. I think during this whole scene, you speed it up a little bit, but put in the tune from the Muppet show. So that the Muppets can copyright us? <laughs> yeah, they're not going to copyright us. We get like 20 views of video. No. Do you think that, do you think Jim Henson Company is that vindictive? <laughs> you never know. Hey, Sesame Street's on fucking HBO now. What do you expect? Ugh, my heart, my heart can't take it. All right, one more shot. Don't I fail me now. Start all over again. Yeah, yeah. He freaked out. He just he little panic attack. There's too many people. All right. Up. <laughs> Listen, Jake. I don't know if you know the struggles of agoraphobia, but 
He's he's struggling here. Yeah, QTE to deal with severe mental problems. That's what my therapist tells me to do. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Jake is was bouncing around. Weird. I do get the like QTE dilemma he has because that is just a very weird. Well, yeah, he was holding two buttons and he had to wang jangle the controller. Oh, you must be the origami killer. You can stop time. Yeah, it's impressive, Jake. You unlocked the super secret power. <laughs> and you kill people with a touch, too. What? Oh, no. Why is there ragdoll rag physics? Oh, don't do Jason. this. Jason! No, this is shut. Oh, it is Jason! He's not even having flashbacks about his li living kid. Oh. It's just Jason. I thought it was Pennywise, man. Jason! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we knock them all down. <laughs> what if I get? What if there's an award for knocking them all down? Jason! Jason! There's a trophy. I hope there's a trophy. Fuck it then. Jason! Hold on, Jason. I just gotta finish killing all these people. Oh, I don't think so. You can't do the people who are sitting. Oh, well. They're already dead inside. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> it's some impressive ragdoll physics. Dad. Da dad? 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 What are you... Da dad? What are you doing? It's the, the worst way over game here. of Marco Polo. <laughs> Jason! I don't know. A lot of people are dying. I think it's the best well, game of Marco can't Polo. Can't knock these ones over here. Jason. Can't knock them down. Are those ones stand? Oh, they're standing back up. No. Oh. Nope. That's the way it came. Never mind. They're still down. Yep. Fuck them all up. Still panic. It's fine. We breathe. Count to ten. He's psychotic. Yes, I think that's been I established. Mean, he's, he's on his second kid that he's lost. Do you blame the guy? Both of which are his fault. She's, she was doing the moonwalk, right? Oh, that says luggage, 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 it's lozenges. Ah, lo lozenges lockers. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you, uh, we need to check you for origami. It's just a quick pat down. Hello. Have you seen this locker? No. Okay. Have you seen this locker? <laughs> Locker! <laughs> 18... 12... This is an, an intense puzzle. Oh, there's 16, 17. 18 doesn't exist. And it goes to 5. <laughs> it, it must Jake's be gonna rip his dick off in a minute. I, I think this is a French thing. Oh. Yep. I guess. Nope. Yep. nope. Jake, yep. you're right there. Yep. There's one. There's two. Nailed it. Well, almost. Well, uh, up or down? Right. Why would you lose? That's not the right. W ah! You you hit down, right? <laughs> Why is that even an option? <laughs> it's to make sure you, the player, are paying attention. Ooh. Why did you give that to police, you schmuck? It's a shotgun trap. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Exploding runes. Yeah, oh, that's also funny. That was a really weird arm angle. I hope there's a really nice pair of shoes in here. Mine are getting worn out Exploding looking for my dead son. Runes? What does that even <laughs> <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Ethan gets a box and just stands around for three hours looking confused. He's just like waiting for somebody to walk into that area to confirm that he's holding something weird. <laughs> It says shoe box, but there's no shoes inside. He's been contemplating it for like three hours. Do you think he's even opened it? No, oh, maybe. Oh, good. Vips. We're playing as Ethan. You got a little vips. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Take it all in. 
contemplate the situation. Really, like, immerse yourself yeah. in this room, Jake. I am the origami think about, killer. Think about what am Ethan's going through. You put this box in the locker? I don't remember. A shoebox? What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? <laughs> He's really giving box himself a lot of credit in these fugue states. Inside? You think so? Gotta open it. And find out what's I'm inside. a I'm a serial killer mastermind. I took a room in the the shoe box must be a clue. Sean must be at a shoe factory. Or is in the shoe box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Jake, find out what's in the box. Okay, but first take a shower. But first fail the QTE to open the closet. <laughs> where Sean also is. Just little bits of Sean everywhere. <laughs> Jason. No, Sean. Sean's your missing child. <laughs> now Good. I'm immersed. Great. Getting that uh, using the toilet trophy. Nice. It's like the the South Park games. You use every toilet. Nope, I'm not flushing. <laughs> uh. Hey. His hotel room comes pre-stocked with medicine and stuff. <laughs> I will wash my hands, though. Nice uh, bottle of heroin to uh, go with your room. It's laudanum. <laughs> He's like squinting at himself. Are you the origami killer? And he starts interrogating himself. Where is he? <laughs> Where's my boy? <laughs> okay, yeah, check, check the phone, the fridge, maybe the mini bar. Here's his father fleeing from his house. <laughs> a gang of paparazzi were able to take his pictures several times as he drove away. Awfully suspicious, if you ask me. More at 11. No, oh, no orange juice. God. This, this guy's he's going to die of thirst. <laughs> Ethan's just like, no orange juice. This day just gets worse and worse. <laughs> yep. There we go. This pretty much sums up yep. what's going like this is it. Yep. Like Jake's mood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's the option to hang myself? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's there there's gonna be a dramatic scene where you're at the like Oh there it is. Oh, this is where you fling yourself off of the two story building. You know, I, too, go to balconies in the rain and just contemplate my missing son. Aren't we all just, like, drops of rain falling from the sky, man? What are we but dust in the wind? <laughs> dust in the rain. We're all literally just raindrops that enter fugue states and kidnap <laughs> our children. All of us. Every single one of us. This is a fun box. Yeah, I wish I got this as a loot crate. This would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the NRA loot crate. <laughs> Here's some origami. Ooh, and a gun. And a gun. Mm hmm. Okay, Jake, little do you know that these this is an actual location that you have to stop playing and we have to go to this location. To unlock the next part of the game. It's immersive. Yeah. Very immersive. Very immersive. I'm going to forget. Just grab, the, just grab the gun and end it. <laughs> or just start calling, like, China. Really rack up this guy's minutes. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, great. Are you? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. It's been a day, two days, one day. Jake, legitimate question on the screen right now. Well, I think that's assuming that you have to love somebody. Do you not love your son? I hate this game. I don't want to play. You, you have to. To no, completion. I don't. 
You you, did, you started it. <laughs> you I started I started Dark Souls and remember how that one went? Yeah, well, like the, I was, this was definitely forced upon him. <laughs> I've mentioned several times you have the controller. I can't stop you from getting these people killed and ending the series. It doesn't I haven't had the choice to kill them yet. You will. I let what's his name fall down the hill and all I did was stumble. Oh. I failed QTEs with her and it just was a fucking dream. <laughs> Jake, you're going to have opportunities to kill people. It'll be funny. I won't even be mad if you just set the controller aside and let the game play out how it wants to. I like to think that Jake has the integrity to finish this to completion for the fans. He doesn't care about Alex that much. I'm excited to see how far Jake is willing to go to save someone he loves. <laughs> but in the meantime, <laughs> and now for something completely different. Wife, age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victim. Oh, uh, I was like, I like that the sunglasses are also are also a projector. <laughs> why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as good. Origami. Origami figure. It's very interesting. And where does all that get us? Hmm. The best way of tracking a predator hmm. is to be familiar with his behavior. It's to act like a predator. That may be true in novels, <laughs> but there's a child's life at stake. Best way here. to catch a serial killer Continue is to become changing. a serial killer. <laughs> Guess we have to kill some children. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near <laughs> Blake's just like, this so sounds made up. <laughs> I don't believe right. any of this. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this uh, zone? 17 mile radius. This, uh, what'd you call it? A zone? What does that even mean? Oh, uh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Yep. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross check it with our list of suspects and I Way to remain calm, Jake. I'm proud of you. For now, anyways. One detail attracted my attention. The interval mm -hmm. between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found mm -hmm. ranges from three to five days. Oh, but the okay. The rainfall is always at six inches, give or right. take ten percent. What on earth six is inches? Wow. Wow, how average. Rainwater. The killer kills only average. in the fall when there is plenty of rain. Isn't it? It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is huh? open to the skies oh, and that fills was, up with rainwater. Okay. What, what is the... The triangle prompt even doing is that just changing yes the, just changing the, between the different profiles so the kids next? okay there are two suspects hey, you get to play slideshow <laughs> comfort zone i'd like to question them uh, damn it we're wasting our time with this bullshit you Kill mean out there somewhere we gotta get off our asses and find them because what this guy's been doing is so has Kill been working no great so far leader. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't organized. find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school Ooh. book? I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Jake, this fist fight this guy. That you're a asshole! <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> he lost her temper here. Not me. You have to pull the like, I came here to do your job. <laughs> How dare he talk about zones in my presence? Doesn't he know? <laughs> Does he know how I feel about zones? I don't see you doing your job, detective. <laughs> the police chief's like, these two are getting along really well. I'm going to go send them out together. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. FBI. No answer. We waste our time coming here. No answer. Kick the door in. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> there is now. <laughs> Jaden's just like I'm not sure illegal. <laughs> They left the door open. Call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
the price oh, doesn't just God. like pop his collar and be like, I'm the FBI, you motherfucker. <laughs> huh. Oh. I think he's religious. Okay. Nothing uh, weird he here. A pretty religious guy. Uh, yeah. This this seems normal. God fear an idiot. Wait for the end of the world. Jason! Sensational, inspirational, celebrational, motivational. This is what I'm 